Michael Shea, a young enthusiastic science teacher teaching at a private girls' school in Worcester, I think, uh, when Nuffield brought out their brilliant um, science course, um, which has got technicians' books, teachers' books, students' books, exactly how to carry out the practical. And the whole idea is that it would be discovery learning, that students would do the experiments and then in the process of trying to work out what was happening, they would do lots of learning. And he tried it out in this selective girls' school. And the results were brilliant. The girls loved it. Um, and the staff were happy because, et cetera, et cetera. But there was quite a lot of equipment to buy. Uh, and then uh, Comprehensives came along. And he got a job in a um, new Comprehensive in South London, Peckham, I think. Um, and uh, you know, brought with him the enthusiasm um, that he had and persuaded them to spend all the spend all the money on the equipment. Tried it out and it was an absolute disaster. He said that the results plummeted, everybody hated science. And he basically spent the rest of his working life trying to work out why. Right. And um, resurrected some work by Piaget on different levels of question, which really, in my mind, are not really different from SATS levels. That is, when we had SATS Key Stage 3, you knew if you read a level seven question do you know what I mean, or a level four question. You knew what that meant. And what Piaget said was they're not just slightly harder, but they require particular thinking skills, uh, which he described as concrete and formal. Um, I think the word formal isn't different from abstract. That is, concrete ideas are descriptive. Abstract ideas are um, ones that you can't see. So you can say, almost any child can say, plants need water um, or they will die. But what they can't do is say plants make, you know, they can't understand the chemical reaction between carbon dioxide and water in, in order to produce glucose. That's an abstract idea. So they developed a system um, which they hoped would accelerate the process of developing abstract thinking. Because what they did was they went through the science curriculum and marked it according to the levels and then took part in a massive study, I think about 1976, something like that, of, uh, I can't remember the number, but at least 10,000 UK students assessing their level of cognition and found that Piaget had made an error. He said that there was a natural progression through these levels. And what they found was that there wasn't that the range of ability appeared to be 10 academic years. So at 14, you have some kids who are, whatever it is, nine, academically nine, and some who are academically 19 uh, in the same class, or in the same year. Um, and specifically, what the lower ability students can't do are the abstract things. So they designed some science lessons specifically to accelerate the process of transition to abstract thinking. That's why it's called cognitive acceleration through science education. They then did some stuff with maths as well. And they've done a lot of things it's called thinking science and thinking maths and let's think and all sorts of stuff. And um, they had done proper trials. That is, they had taught, uh, trained teachers to use the materials. That is, they didn't run the lessons themselves, um, and then followed it up. And actually, one of the first schools that were followed all the way through was in Cambridge here at Parkside. And um, they increased the number of pupils, what did they get, with, with five good A to C grades, from 35% to 60%. Um, unfortunately, the lessons are done in year seven and eight, and the results, of course, are measured at the end of year 11. And so even the senior staff at the school didn't accept that this was the effect. He said this is a real problem in education. You can't, it's very difficult to attribute success. But it was, they did do, you know, 12 schools with the trial and 12 control groups and consistently every single uh, intervention school performed better. 